Welcome to News You Can Use for Grace United Church in Burlington. We have two important announcements today, one from Heather, the co-chair of the board, and an update from the transition team. So let's check in with Sue. Hello Sue, and welcome to News You Can Use. Thanks Bob, it's good to be here again. So tell us, what has the uh, transition team been up to? Bob, today I'd like to talk to folks from the congregation about the survey on ministerial skills and talents and let everybody know that if they haven't already submitted their survey, it's not too late to do it. Last Sunday, May the 16th, Reverend Helen included in her message a very long list of ministers skills and talents. Some ministers have some of these skills and talents and some have many, but no one minister has them all. What are the skills and talents that are important to you, to each one of us? And do we want the search committee, once it's formed and begins to do its work, to look for? The surveys were sent out by email on May the 18th and again on May the 19th. And the return date is May the 25th, next Tuesday at 6 p.m. If anyone didn't receive the survey, please check in your spam or junk files on email or on the grace line this week, you'll find the um, link there as well. The survey cannot submit if it's incomplete. So please, when you're completing it, watch for some red alert notices, which will tell you if something is missing. When the survey has been submitted, you'll see a message in small black font telling you that your results have been recorded. The results in the survey will be used in writing the position description for the new minister. Every single response is important. And we thank each of you for taking time to complete the survey. One hint, we have been told that it's hard to do on a phone, that sometimes all the fields don't necessarily show because of the size of the phone. So please use your iPad, laptop, or desktop. And again, thank you for participating. Thank you, Sue, for the update. Do you know what it means to become an affirming congregation? Most of us would say that of course we already are an inclusive congregation, but do we really know what is involved in the process of becoming an affirming church? That is what we need to find out. The board has approved the creation of a working group to explore the required process so that when we make a decision as to whether or not we want to move forward with this, we understand what we would be committing to. If you're interested in participating in this data gathering working group, please contact me, Heather McGavin, or Dale Martin. Thank you. Do you miss having coffee after church? Then join us Sunday at 11 a.m. for after church coffee time. Or you can join us on Wednesday at 1 p.m. for coffee time. Joining is easy. The links are at the top of your Graceline email. Hope to see you there. Has it been a while since you have come out to men's breakfast? Come out on Wednesday at 9 a.m. and catch up with old friends and join the discussion on the Ten Commandments. The link is in your Graceline newsletter. This Wednesday at 7 p.m., the UCW will be hosting a virtual tea party. Please forward a photo of your favorite teacup and a quick explanation as to why. Send it to Donna. The link to join is in your Graceline email. Remember to check out halton.ca for your latest in vaccination information.